reviewing a, another game called Hype TV Runner. Hype TV is a finite runner with handcrafted levels. Think Bit Trip Runner. I've never actually heard of that, so let's just have a quick look. Um, anyway, um, you play as an unwilling contestant in some kind of Running Man TV show. We have where you need to run the in order to survive. Okay, relatively simple. Here's a little GIF um, for that. It's an alpha, a raw placeholder-ish stuff like death animation. Only first 12 levels are somewhat polished, the rest are still very raw. Controls, up arrow is to jump, down is to slide, right is to hit. Okay. Uh, you can use gamepad, we're not going to use gamepad. And the book controls, we'll just ignore them. So, bit run. So, okay, so there's going to be some combat kind of things involved. Let's give it a go. Um, do we open it up? There is sound for it. Um, we're going to be playing without the sound. Um, just because it might not be great. There is also a full screen. The settings are very in-depth. I quite like them. Um, obviously, the, the layout of it isn't great, but it's an alpha. I'm not really that bothered about it. There's also the room menus in the bottom, which is okay, a bit weird, but who cares again? But let's test the level. Okay, so press and hold up to jump. Yep, variable jumping. That's good. We like that. We can jump over these. Relatively simple. So we've got to uh, run and jump over these. We can see we're live. I like this idea. The idea that we're on a TV show. We're not. We're not willingly there, though. Okay, I like that. Is it a good idea? Um, interesting concept, and I also like the art style. The art style is really nice, I'd say. Um, it's pretty well polished uh, overall. Ah, we just hit. <laughs> the bit I obviously don't like is the debugging bits in the corner. That that's likely weird but again if it's a debugging version that's absolutely fine uh, which I understand from what you said that it is he's not that bad isn't he wouldn't it be easy all right so we've got to connect um, donations <laughs> one blooper okay well, that's really cool I quite like that um, just from that that first little bit we got um, there let's try and turn these We'll, go, we'll put some of the sound off. Um, we'll just have that on like that. So the music is quite good. Um, it fits in quite well. Overall, I think pretty well made um, at the moment, <laughs> from what I can see. So our viewers can donate coins if you, by the looks of it. Um, we're just going to turn off the music because it's annoying me slightly. Um, now, so as you pick them up, that, that's that's cool. Um, I really like the movement. Actually, I don't know what's going on exactly with it, but the the running animations and stuff—it feels really smooth. It feels like we're probably going at, at sixty. FPS here, which is good because sometimes I see runner games in 30 FPS and they don't look very smooth. I can see this becoming quite a good game actually. Um, it's very impressive from what I can see here. Uh, we haven't seen any combat or anything yet. Um, that might be something to work on, I don't know. But from what I'm looking at here, this is pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily the most captivating thing at the moment that I've seen, but the idea is really good, the concept's really good, the art is good, so realistically maybe just add something that's a little bit different possibly to a normal runner game. Um, I'm not quite sure how you could do that. Um, the concept itself is completely different. But 
maybe something extra mechanic or something that makes it a little bit um, different. I'm not noticing any bugs or anything in this. We might do a key test later. Um, we'll just get through this level, I guess. They don't seem incredibly challenging. The only thing that is kind of challenging at the moment um, is getting all the coins, uh, the donations, if you want to. Um, that seems to be the bit that's the most tricky. That, that's also quite a big jump. Okay. Um, yeah. So the death animation is a bit a bit weird, depending on where you land. Can be a bit funky. Um, I guess that's not too much of a problem. <laughs> yeah, like that. We went inside the thing there, which was interesting, but not the biggest problem at the moment. You've probably got better things to work on. The level design is... <laughs> okay, we have to jump over them. The level design is definitely something to uh, work on in, in for more levels. More levels is always good. Possibly have some sort of level... Like... Choose a level world map. Maybe you can choose from a bit like Mario, I'm thinking. Um, but not exactly a huge issue because with these runner things it's normally just constantly running I don't know possibly and it's something to think about oh dear that wasn't good um so yeah let, let's just quickly do some sort of key tests As far as I can see, nothing. Okay, this this skips levels. We also got this weird bit at the top. That's F1. So yeah, we are running at. Okay. We are running at 60 FPS. These levels are actually here. Um, <laughs> we're on level 27. Now, okay, that is a slow problem. We can't restart. Um, I believe that was the last level we got to there. Level 27, yep. Um, so those levels at the end looked pretty cool with the jetpack. That, they look pretty good. I can see how these levels aren't as complete though. I really also like the guy in the corner, the host, I guess you could say. He's pretty cool. Um, and the comments and stuff he makes along the way are pretty good, I would say. Okay, so we've got to go down the bottom for that. These levels are pretty cool, I'd say, the later on ones. Um, possibly introduce something like the jetpack early on. Um, maybe not the jetpack, but maybe something kind of similar to it. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a gun early on or some enemies early on or something like okay, so random that's that's cool I like the randomization there you could also have slight variations on the same level so that it's never feels like you're playing the same thing over and over again that's something that I think would be very cool um, I'm yet to really see that in a proper game that would be pretty awesome I'd say Okay, so yeah, they get pretty challenging by the end. Um, that's quite good. I really like that actually. Um, overall, the things I would there isn't really anything I'd say to actually improve on what I saw. It was really good, um, really well made, and probably well on its way to becoming a proper Steam game. I would say a few more levels, maybe polish those later on ones. Um, add something early in to draw people in. But honestly, that was pretty pretty well made from what I saw. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe. Always do you guys want to do, and I will talk to you in the next one.